Hello everyone, if you're here then you, like me, have seen this product, Care Quarter, on YouTube or TikTok or some uh, vlog on the internet talking about how you can type at the speed of thought. And now if you've seen the videos on TikTok and YouTube, you see this person named Riley Keane, the creator of the Care Quarter product, uh, who can type up to 250 and 300 and sometimes even 400 and 500 words per minute, which seems incredibly unfathomable. So uh, I'm here to answer some of the most common questions, but the most important question I want to answer is, is this product real or is it a scam? Well, I have here in front of me the Care Quarter 1, you can see it on the screen. Um, and I have mine, I've had mine for a few months, and this is how the device comes pre-packaged. Um, it comes with the uh, cable, the two halves, and then a bar that connects them, and uh, this a little uh, audio jack that connects both halves and helps them to communicate. Uh, so let's get into it, I'll talk a little bit about the build and uh, how the product or how the device actually works. So here is my Care Quarter 1. Uh, you can see it consists of these two halves and uh, this middle cable that connects both halves. I removed the bar in the middle and that's because I prefer to be able to stretch out the uh, Care Quarter halves as far as I can. And now the cable gives me as much as I want to say that's two and a half, almost three feet. You might not be able to see it, but you can stretch these out and then uh, be able to place them wherever you want on your desk. I like putting them deep in, in the desk because it gives me more support, more comfort for my forearms, but different people do different ways. I will say this with the bar, you'll have more stability and that can help whenever you start courting, whenever you start uh, character entering. It helps to have stability, especially if you're trying to type on a bed, on a, a pillow, or even on your own lap. The lack of stability might throw you off when courting some words. So uh, here I have the device and you can see on the screen um, that we can use it for regular text entry, uh, regular text entry, or we can use it uh, to chord some stuff. Uh, I don't have a chord for chord. Some stuff. And there we go. Um, and it also has all the other keys. Uh, such as backspace, enter, uh, control, alt, delete, windows key, home, if you're using a Mac device, it has command. You can access that in these um, little switches that you have. Uh, let me talk about the build. Uh, first of all, these halves are, um, I want to say 3D printed. I'm not sure if they're 3D printed or not, but they come with these one, two, three, four, five, uh, five silver, and these are metal or rather aluminum. Uh, in material, these uh, omnidirectional switches, not omni, uh, yes, omnidirectional switches, uh, move in four directions, which we call north, east, south, and west, and that's all four of these. Uh, even the black ones, the black ones, I think, are supposed to be aluminum as well, and they move in all directions, and they also have one additional direction, which is into the device, which we call down. Uh, this pinky one is the, the odd one of the bunch. This one is just bigger because we don't have much control over or dexterity over our pinkies. So we tend to just push it down in whatever direction. But this one's rather important. This one is how you're going to access your GTM menu, which stands for gener Generative Text Menu. And that's how you adjust some settings on the device. And uh, it'll also allow you to, to record some stuff like Alt and some other things, which we'll get into in other videos. You see here, you have the connection for the audio jack, we plug that in, it's not very difficult. And then on the other side we have something similar, almost a twin, where you have the audio jack here. Um, the space for the bar that I removed, and I want to show you, actually, uh, the bar is held in place by two tiny screws. Now this might change in the future, we don't know yet, but for now it's two tiny screws that you can um, twist, or well, rather unscrew. And don't lose the screws, otherwise you won't be able to put the device together again. But it works perfectly without the bar. I took it off almost a day into using my device and I have never gone back. On the other side of this left half, we have a USB-C cable that connects into the device and it actually powers it uh, with, the, with the actual computer. Uh, you can see there I have my USB connection, which uh, is among all of the other cables that I have on here. Uh, so yes, this one is a little hard. When you take it out, uh, you might have some difficulty putting it back in just because the socket is so deep. We've complained about it, we've told them. Some people have had like a small one inch um, 
little converter or just extend extension which allows it to protrude and that way you don't have to fidget with putting it inside i don't tend to take this cable off just because it takes so long to put it back on uh but uh that's that so that's the build um it's one shell that goes on top of the base plate the base plate has eight uh yes eight little feet which are pads that are supposed to keep it from uh, sliding around on your on your desk or on your computer if you're like me uh, but sometimes they do get dusty and your desk is dusty so it's a good idea to run some alcohol wipes or just uh, some water on it and it'll help it stick um, this uh, half is held in place by screws which are under the feet you would have to remove the feet or the paddings in order to see the screws to be able to pu pull off the, the shell if you ever wanted to do that same thing can be said on the other half but that's basically the build. It seems very re resilient. The switches might seem a little uh, feeble. They might seem like they can easily break. But mine have lasted. The only time mine broke is when I uh, abused my caracorder. I think I dropped it a few times. And I, I took it around to work in a case that wasn't designed for the caracorder. So um, that's on me. That's my fault. But basically, this is the device. It does exist. It is real. It's not a scam. And I'll go into briefly how it works. If you just wanted to know if it's real, this is where you can stop watching the video and uh, you can actually use the code and the link in the description of this video to purchase your device if you become interested and you'll get a 20% discount from the total price. Uh, so if you buy one device, two devices, you get a 20% discount from everything. So I appreciate it if you use my link and you can also get an amazing discount. But how does the device actually work? So if you watched any of the videos uh, that Riley has posted, you can see that uh, you can basically use the device, uh, if I only I knew how to spell, it, use the Caracorder 1 as a traditional keyboard by entering, uh, entering letter by letter, not word by word, letter by letter. Okay, that took a while. I'm not very fast, but you get the point. Um, you can also do Control A, Control S, Control C. All of the control commands still work. Basically, all of the information that the computer needs to know what this device does is stored on these two halves. You don't need any additional software. You don't need anything else but this device. Plug it in and it'll read just like a regular keyboard. So you buy this and you're good to go. You don't need to buy any additional software and you don't need to download anything else, which is perfect for those of you who want to take this to work, want to be more productive, but can't or aren't allowed to download any additional software onto your work computers. This is perfect because it doesn't need any additional software. The cool thing about this device and probably the main selling point is the cording ability. So I can, um, cording basically is you press multiple keys at the same time and they result in a word. So here is my chord for about, and I have a chord for additionally. So I have a chord for the main uh, question words like how, when, who, why, and then my favorite, however. And so the idea is that when you create chords, you'll be able to save time by not having to enter each letter individually, but rather you'll be able to chord each uh, word and be much more efficient and productive in your daily work or in if you're an author and you're writing or whatever so let me see if i can formulate a sentence um hello my name is maverick uh, i don't have a chord for that maybe i should make a chord for it um i know that you are watching this video because you want to buy a um nope caracorder one and oops i made a typo with the a but there you go basically it, you teach it uh the chords you want it to use and then that's how the device reads it and is able to output so quickly and words as long as caracorder or because or however you can type in blink of an eye because you only need one press to to actually make it work and now, once you get your device, if you choose to get your device, you can actually see uh, the uh, training software that they use, which is Launchpad or Lemon Flower. That's what I call it because that's what the website URL says. Forgive me, Riley. And you can see the different tiers. Uh, and when you start training, it's really cool because it'll show you the device and it'll show you which key or which switch you're supposed to press. So if we're going to do uh, here, um, 
G L Q H J T P E N V. That's a C N G Q J uh, P. I don't know what P is. J L Z V W, and so on and so forth. You can actually turn off these little highlights in case you really want to memorize the layout and do some other cool stuff on here. You can also use this on any other website um, that uses. Any other typing uh, website or typing game, you can use this. Uh, so, for example, I can use this here. Still, any of where point order uh, work first part way might govern between same child. And this is probably very boring, so forgive me, but I wanted to demonstrate how you can use the mixed entry to chord and to enter character by character. Um, to use this which makes it so versatile where you don't have to have a chord for everything but when you do have a chord for everything it becomes very useful uh, to use in real life uh, so there you see um, sometimes I get I'm not very good with the chords but um, it works like a charm it works very well I would recommend this device to anyone who wants to increase their speeds and anyone who wants to increase their that took me a while <laughs> their productivity this is definitely a great device for you so i'll leave you guys with the end of this video 52 words per minute that's my mixed entry speed i was wondering when that was going to finish but there you go if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh, down below i'm happy to answer any questions and join the discord server i'll leave a link down below um, where i'm labeled as maverick and i'm happy to answer any and all of your questions on there as well uh, like I said, if you choose to buy this device or the Caracorder Lite, which I have right here, then you can go ahead and uh, use my link to uh, get an awesome 20% discount off of your total purchase. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.